Hi. Well, here we are at Cheatham School of Music, and um, we've been really thrilled that David in America has lent us a DS 5.5 um, keyboard, which we've fitted to a Yamaha C3 piano. Now, normally, of course, uh, keyboards um, have 6.5 inches, um, and this one has only got 5.5, which is quite a difference, an inch. But it's very, very interesting for our students to try, and students with smaller hands in particular, to feel that they can actually suddenly reach intervals and big chords that they weren't otherwise able to. Wonderful to have Mami with us, uh, who has given concerts on a 6.0 inch, isn't that right? Yes, that's right. In Stuttgart, in Stuttgart last year, and who is yeah. very interested in the whole phenomenon of small size keyboards. So <laughs> over to Mami. Yeah. Okay, so um, Cheatham School is the first school in the UK to have this kind of piano. Isn't that really exciting? Yes. Yeah, and we just talked about this kind of piano is often described as the piano that grows your hands, you make your hand, hands bigger. And I think one of the great things about this piano is that as uh, young pianists like yourselves, you can learn more difficult pieces when, you know, people, other, eight, how old are you, eight, nine? Ten. Ten, Ten. okay, Ten. yeah, okay. Other people outside of the school, they may be struggling to reach notes, you can learn more difficult pieces already, and by the time your hands are bigger, you have all the repertoire learned under your belt. I think that's great, yeah? And not many people have heard of this idea before, and here is a list of all the schools around the world where they have this kind of um, narrower keyboards and cheating schools, the only one in the UK. Uh, hello, I'm James Brown and I'm going to be playing Rack 2 with uh, Cheating Symphony Orchestra uh, in July this year. Um, however, there's a problem. I cannot play um, all of the opening chords like I have to spread them because I can't stretch them. Uh, but I could if I wanted to. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, especially this chord here, I can't. And uh, I'm making a cluster out of it and playing all the other notes around it, and you know, obviously you get the. I can stretch that, but only if I stretch my hand beyond the threshold of pain. Um, so, now, um, <coughs> this is a different piano, because the keys are less wide. Let's see if I can stretch the chords. So how did it feel playing Beethoven on the DS 5.5 keyboard? Um, it was really interesting. I think it felt really nice. Fantastic. And I mean, do you sort of feel that you might want to play in it again? Um, yeah, definitely. Hi, my name's Cassie. I am 15 and on an ordinary piano I can reach and on a small piano I can reach
This is Scala Fisher Nelson Faces Control. Um, on the normal channel, one of the chords, I have to play the B in the right hand. So on the small piano. My name is Eric and on a normal piano I can stretch an octave and just about a ninth. Uh, quite difficult to reach a ninth on a normal piano but on the smaller piano I can easily reach a tenth. Hello I'm Jackson. I'm 12. I'm going to play the Lackey Studies. That, and and I can't reach the chord at the end, but I can reach it in the small piano.
Thank you.